Julia Civier is an actor, stand woman, and a martial arts practitioner from the Philippines and France, based in London. Through her works, she explores themes of violence, family friendship, sexuality, and intimacy. The last time she joined beauty pageant was Binibining Pilipinas 2019, but unfortunately, she wasn't able to make it the first cut. But now she has returned and ready to conquer the Miss Universe Philippines 2022 crap. So when I was younger, people always used to say, Sayang, hindi mo kang French. And, you know, of course I'd be upset because they were denying me a part of my identity. The underlying message there was, you would look better if you look more French. You would look more beautiful if you look more French. That hurt. And so coming into this pageant, I knew that it would be challenging because I'm going against the conventional definition of beauty. I was right. I came here and since joining, I've gotten so many comments, people saying that I should get a nose job, um, that they can't listen to me speak, you need the contour on your nose, that I should you know, wear eyelid tape, use makeup that makes my eyes look bigger and I was too strong, that I was too masculine, that I was impressive but not a beauty queen. And this tells me that there's something fundamentally wrong in how we conceptualize what it means to be a woman. Because why can't we be powerful and beautiful? Why can't we be strong and beautiful? All of these things that people are saying they're telling me that I need to be something that I'm not, and I refuse. It's been challenging to some extent, but I know where I stand and I know my value. To me, it's really important that we celebrate who we are, that we celebrate our authentic features, this new idea of what it means to be beautiful. It's not just about pursuing a dream. It's not just about representing my country. It really is about challenging an entire system of power that tells us that we are not beautiful enough, that our stories are not important enough. And if you're looking for the most conventionally pretty person, then <laughs> I am not your Miss Universe. You're looking for a woman who's going to fight, who's going to use her voice with so much power, so much courage that it hurts. And I am your woman. Well, I think the biggest thing for me, because I study film and I want to pursue a career in film, and also through my martial arts practice, it's really honing in on this idea that Filipinas and Filipinos and Asians are strong. Um, it's about really asserting our place and asserting our strength and reclaiming our power. There's a lot of racism still, and I think at the root of it is this idea that 
somehow we are not as worthy, we're not as strong, and through my work I really want to challenge them. Julia representing Daraga Albay. Before joining this pageant, I was actually living in a Chinese military school in rural China when I was learning Kung Fu for upwards of eight hours a day. To be Miss Universe Philippines, one must have a powerful voice, and more importantly, the courage and audacity to use it.